right, folks. So this is going to be on... We are now going to have the first match ever is going to be Mohawk Mike versus John Michael. Hold on, not yet. I gotta change some stuff real quick. Hold okay. on. Okay. You're actually now, gonna. Now, Mike is given the uh, look of defeat here. He could win. You oh. never know. All right. I'm still in the fear. So here. let's get. Uh, this is gonna get a little crazy. Uh, I couldn't get Tiggy when I signed up. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Uh, the way the rules work is, it's gonna be the first person to win, right? First person. Well, Three. Best, three out of five. Best three out of five is how it's going to work. So we're going to start. In versus, is it one match? No, I mean, but, the, but it has a tier of the three games. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, yeah, so best three out of five here. Up first, we have Mohawk Mike versus John Michael. So Mohawk Mike and John Michael, two star champions, going to head head in, in Dr. Mario. Let's get it going, guys. Ready? Here we go! John Michael is on the left and Mohawk Mike is on the right of the screen. Holy crap, John Michael is quite good at Dr. Mario. Somebody played the crap out of this as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Mohawk Mike going down early! Building dramatic tension. Somebody didn't play with pills as a kid like the rest of us. <laughs> Ready? We told Mohawk Mike this is just like Quake 3. So once again, everybody, John Michael is on the left. Mohawk Mike is on the right. Oh no, that's the that's the sign I want to hear. Bump, 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 bump. Jesus Christ, John Michael, make quick work on the stage. John Michael might be the one to beat in this tournament. Mohawk Mike looks to be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, John Michael makes a critical mistake. No, I didn't. Nope. Actually. It, actually, he's fine now. Never mind. John Michael planned that. He's, he's good to go. Goddamn Dr. Mario. Mohawk Mike has lots of yellow stacked up. Uh... That looks so good from Mohawk Mike round two. But he is building dramatic tension, folks. He is here to win it. While his brother, Postal Dude, sits in the background and cheers him on. With a face of nope, nope. If you can't see us, he's shaking. All right, so it's two John Michael, one Mohawk Mike. No, none Mohawk Mike. Here we go. The final deciding round. Jesus Christ, this is going to be a crazy tournament. So is anyone in the chat an actual fan of Dr. Mario at all? Did anyone play as a kid over Tetris at all? <laughs> Mohawk Mike is the first person to enter the loser's bracket, but he'll be back for another one. So, Alright! That was... That was round... Up next is what, uh... Who's next? It's me and you, right, Jeff? Jeff, are we up next? Yeah. Alright, up next is myself versus Daniel Berserk versus Captain LJN. So here we go. We're going to reset this real quick. <laughs> oh, that's evil. Yeah, yeah there's, um, I... You got a chair for you? Hello everybody in the chat. Been a while since I've said hi to y'all, y'all. Here we go, Dr. Mario. John Michael, tell us a little bit about your history. Your history with Dr. Mario. I know you have one. I have played the hell after Dr. Mario. I'm actually a fan of a lot of puzzle games. Um, and the crucial mistake made by uh, Jeff over there. Um, but um, I... Um, 
love- I played the hell out of it. I kept playing 20 and high, 20 and high, trying to do well on this. Okay. And, um, the technique you want to do is you want to try and get doubles. So whenever you get a double, it drops two over to your other people. Oh, uh, okay. So that's why when okay. you hear that doo -doo 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 -doo, Yeah. Clear. Okay. But you've actually played this game competitively at gaming conventions. Well, I mean, <laughs> competitively. Um, Little <laughs> Arcade Expo, um, uh, um, on 2012, I, um, I got the winners of 2012. Yeah. 2013, it was very unofficial with three people in it. Oh, yeah. So I don't think there's really going to be a Dr. Mario tournament, but... <laughs> Daniel, Come taking on. the first round. Jeff has got to win this one to stay in. We're going to have loser's bracket, however, you'll see come up. We're going to do some split screen. Yeah. The loser's bracket comes up. So Jeff may, even if he does lose here, have a chance to get back in the game. Yeah. Um, the thing is, uh, um, it's very hard to try and, um, whenever somebody starts doing the doo -doo -doo -doo, you have to hope that whatever the random drops is to your favor. I have actually, when my friend um, did a double, it dropped down two perfectly to where I got a double and reversed it back oh, to him. Oh, yeah, And awesome. it did something bad to him, so I was like... <laughs> but yeah, you had to be very quick at the very beginning because, um... Because whatever you do, if you want to get those doubles real quick, try and throw off whatever your uh, opponent has planned. Well, I'm going to tell you, I understand everything you're telling me, but I haven't played Dr. Mario in so long that I think as soon as my first piece drops, it's just going to go out of my mind, and I'm going to be like, what am I doing? <laughs> I haven't played in so many years. But this game is a... Uh, really I, I practiced when I was... I practiced a little bit uh, sure. before I came here. And it's like I'm practicing again for the little arcade expo in case um, my friends want to battle again. Dude, but they were so busy last year that I really don't want to push it if they aren't. I've played, like, more than a few Tetris clones. And I think this is probably the like, only one that was like made back in the day. It's worthwhile. Oh, they both got each other. Oh, but it helped um, Jeff a little bit. It helped Jeff. Um, what was I going to say? Um, there is actually... Um, I was watching Speed Demo Archives, and there were people that are speedrunning Dr. Mario from 1 to 20 as, soon, as fast as humanly possible. Huh. And the thing is that, sure, it's all nice and good at the very beginning, but once you get up to level 19, 18, 19, and 20, if you have so many on there, you have to hope for good patterns. Okay, yeah. So, did they just, like, hold the down button the whole time, or what? Kinda. Yeah. Jeff's having some trouble. Yeah. What is the, uh... Oh, never mind. I got, never mind. I was about to say, on the middle is how the mid in the middle screen you have the how many games have you won. Um, down there is how many viruses you have to you have. Because as you saw from me playing with Bill Hawk Mike, um, he, he basically lost by everything um, filling up to the top of the screen. Yeah. But if you ha get to zero first, that's how you also win. Okay, so you can either clear all your viruses before the other guy win, or the other guy builds up to the top and dies. And yeah. You win. Okay. It's like one some of the best heated battles. Or when we had like uh, when we had like two viruses left and we were just like slamming the pills <laughs> down. Where are our colors? Where are our colors? And just slamming, slamming. It's like it gets insane. Now, but I'm sorry, did Jeff not just lose two? Uh, two out of Jeff, three, right? that's three out of five. Three out of five. Gotcha. But the technique also is when you just have two viruses, is that when you're trying to slam stuff down, you're also trying to slam so that you can get doubles. So that, because usually when there's two left, they're at the very bottom of the screen, and so if you get a double, they have to wait while that those two okay, things they go can't, down, they can't and they can't do down. anything, they so you basically wait. have all the time you want to try and take down the Man, that's pills. awesome. It's like, I have the technique, I have the knowledge <laughs> down. I love some fighting in, in Dr. Mario. D are you, uh, did you ever get into the, the DS one, Virus Buster? I never did. You I never, never got did, into it? No. I never, I don't, uh... <laughs> Me and Abe, here we go. Yeah, Texas Dr. Mario is the, um, one that people use for uh, speedrunning, just I think because it's more fluid Jeez. than the uh, right. Super Nintendo version. I completely forgot how tricky this game could be. <laughs> I was too busy working on Double Dragon. 
<laughs> oh, I think it's going to be okay. me and you tell Michael on the end. <laughs> and then he's going to be like, <laughs> like, fuck it, I watched you play. Are, are, you, are you just, uh, while you're watching me, you're just like, oh, screw that? I saw what you were doing, and I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, so we have here, Wyatt is on the left, and we have Postal Dude Abe on the right. What are you doing? I hope you're playing the stinking game. Spooey, yeah, I'm, uh, Rizio, I did play the, I did have the Game Boy version of Dr. Mario as well, because my family loved to play it. But my god, was that game harder to play in black and white than it was in color. <laughs> Abe going down early in round one. It's okay, we have a loser's bracket. We have two, two game tournaments. This is going to be quick. All right, round two. Wyatt taking an early lead. Like it's it's one thing when you start like on the beginner level and you start to see the you have a second look at the map and all yeah. that. Yeah. But like when you're at medium, like you gotta go, like go right away, level ten. I mean. Yeah, I'm so I'm so used to it. Um, when I played with I, I keep referring to Louisville Arcade Expo. When I played with the guys in Louisville, we always did fifteen on high. That's what we played on our normal games, 15 on high. Oh, wow. Jesus, that's pretty crazy. So, Spooey sent us a little link here. To, ooh, Spooey's got an X-Band in this, the box. And the box is backwards. You don't see that kind of rarity. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spooey, that's pretty kick-ass. Uh, Spooey here, uh, other video game collector. That's pretty, god damn, I remember seeing that back in the day. Play Nintendo game. I love Play your Nintendo games over the internet. I was like, "What the hell's the internet?" <laughs> it was like, I wish I could have seen it in action. I guess uh, I wish it, there was a YouTube. I maybe went to look that up. It was tonight. well. You, we can play the game. Oh, Abe going down two twice. You can actually play them um, over emulators. Certain emulators have like just servers that run the games, and you, you have to have the exact same copy of the game, and then it's, it's okay. We still gotta watch out for lag too. Yeah. It's still fun. I've done with a couple of my friends all over the place. My friend uh, is alive when he joins later. We've done a whole bunch of that kind of stuff over servers and uh, fighting games and certain stuff. So sometimes it's fun to get a game started up. Sometimes it's impossible as well. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, they, they, we got some practice rounds. Oh, they're taking practice over. rounds over there? Yeah. But it's like, I I love me some Dr. Mario, as you probably found out. Maybe I should try and uh, do 20 on high, just see if we can get, like, the best screen. Oh, my God. It's like, one of the funniest... Oh, Zalava is here! Don't be offended, he was the one who said it. I didn't, see, yeah, I didn't see the thing was in here. No sassy, yeah, Chicho, no beloved Chicho 17, here. Rizio, Neon Knight Rider, Spooey, oh, Publix... Abe, Abe going down, Wyatt shaking round one. Good job, Abe. Who's up next in the tournament? Who is it? Uh, who's where's got the chart? What's going on? Oh, Jesse and Rich. All right, all right. I'll return for Rich is done. Rich, you're up. There's just eight people in this tournament. Whoops. I'll beat you quick. Oh, oh, Jesse! We got some <laughs> SmackDown talking here. We have here. Rich coming over here real quick to play Dr. Mario. Talked in with my Mohawk Mike so they can beat head-to-head -head combat, but instead his first competitor is the one and only Jesse of Arcade Legacy. So here we go. Jesse on the left, Rich on the right. Don't you dare knock my controller! It feels weird in the dog mode, it does. <laughs> I'm so used to it. What you guys can't hear is in the, right next to Rich in the practice run, uh, Mohawk Mike and Jeff are giving a little practice run with each other, they're going fucking crazy. <laughs> Wait, no practicing! Get right in the tournament! <laughs> Rich going down, round one. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, we are just too amused by the other thing that's not. Can we put the head to head up? <laughs> <laughs> so, hold on, yeah. let me, I'll change all this. Where's the mouse? There we go. Right there. Yeah, we're just showing what the other people are doing right now yeah, alongside. Yeah, just, uh, just in case you're wondering why there's so much rage happening right now. They're doing the Pansy 7 level. Just the way around, right? It's Jeff. Sitting it, yep. Oh, really, Nian? I, I don't know if I've ever done a draw before. I've gotten close, but uh, yeah, that'd be pretty hard to actually pull off. So we're showing another image here. What else is the collection? Let's see if I. Oh, there it is. Thirty bucks. Wow. 
Right under the, the first video game part of Right under the first Nintendo Power too. He had to use that as his table. Oh, Mike's screaming about something over there. Let's see. Oh, he, <laughs> he obviously Jeff's lost. Jeff's beating him, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jesse's doing quite well in this. Rich is in a bit of trouble. He's in a lot of trouble. Rich is, he's pretty, he's, yeah, oh, Rich just got screwed. Yep, that did it. That was quick for Rich. All right, <laughs> see you in the loser's bracket. You're up again after that later. There's a second bracket. No, go play. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll kill you. All right, so now that we've done that, <laughs> Jesse did. <laughs> Annihilated. Quiet. All right. Do you want to use I mine? I have a... Yeah, here. I am so sneaking used to this music. Ah, oh, my poor... My poor... Uh, yeah. All right, so sh should I show... You just don't know how to play in a sneaking dog. Should I show the head-to-head -head then, real quick? Should I show the head-to-head -head with them? No? All right, you don't see... Nah, we we'll do it. No, you guys got to go level... You got to go to 10. Seven in the loser's bracket? Oh. Okay, that's different. All right, never mind. So here we go. Oh, Eleven. Oh, you guys can go up. One. Oh, I see you're gonna go up one. Yeah, step. we're going up one more. So here we have Jesse on the left, Rich on the right. Uh, what? Rich on the right? You mean Wyatt oh, uh, on the right? Oh uh, Wyatt. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, oh no. Oh no. Why is in a pickle that he may be able to get out of, but no, not now. Why? Jesse takes a quick victory over Wyatt. No, don't do that. He he is making a rookie mistake. Everything can be a tr yeah. Can't say he's making a mistake, but it's not the way I would have done it. You played competitively on this. The rest of us haven't touched this in years. <laughs> We're like, yeah, I played as a kid. We well, said <laughs> tournament. I thought somebody might have played this other than me. Well, yeah, we played it. We didn't practice it. We were sitting there at home, like, learning stuff. Oh, don't you Jesse don't you getting... I hate when those, they drop the wrong color to top you. Oh, man. Oh, I got a good double there, though. I remember I started making lyrics up to this stuff, but I can't remember what they were. It is a catchy little theme song. Jesse is in a very good position here. Yeah. Oop, slight. Oh, wasn't a mistake there. No, he's got it. Oh, he's got a good double there. Oh, he's got a double. That's going to mess Wyatt up. Yep. Actually, well. No, I mean, you and Jesse in the head to head. I think the thing that's going to mess Jesse up is the, uh, more, there'll be more random drops. So we'll see how he reacts to that. Wyatt is in a very precarious situation again. Oh, man. Tichio is saying he's played this game on Brain Training, too. Yeah, it is a very, a very good puzzle game. It's on Brain Training? Oh, Wyatt died. Jesse he, he wouldn't let Jesse have the victory of actually yeah, he all of here we go, round three. Can Wyatt make the comeback? I do remember when this first came out, I had the... I should have brought the Dr. Mario and Nintendo Power in I had. We already showed, but oh well. I forgot about that. The game had all kinds of some of that. This was like Nintendo's answer to. Uh, yeah, now I'm going through all the uh, stuff right here. There's very few Nintendo games in that one. That was more of the Super Nintendo era, but there's some fun stuff in there. The NES is like the very, very, very end. I think it's like Fire and Ice, and they rip it apart. Zelda's adventure. Yeah, for the CDI, the Zelda games. The CDI was brand new. Oh no! What'd you do, John Michael? I didn't do it. John Michael just ripped pages out of my very rare book. That was mint condition until. The, the assassin of Nintendo. Look at this. Sorry, sorry, you're gonna three pages now? out. 
<laughs> Including the, C the CDI porn game, Voyeur. What? What? <laughs> Let me see that. Let me see that. Hey, John Michael wants to see some... Where is it at? Hold on. There's pixelated boobs. I don't know. Oh, I guess the binding's going bad. I really can't get... There it is. Sorry about that. That's fine. No. No, I'll show that on the screen. Okay. CDI adult porn game where there's actually some boobies. Not really, but they're in a bra and panties. But, but, it's, but it's no plumbers don't wear ties. Yeah, you look through the window and you see them. So it's just <laughs> that, that should be in one of the bad games. What are these? Oh, I, yeah, definitely. So 107, 105. I put these back in order now. I really can't complain. I can't be like, oh man, this thing's falling apart. It's 20 years old. How come it didn't hold up? Bunch of duke bags. Yeah, and I'm just, I, I'm just like amused by all this stuff. I can't stop looking at it. There you go. Sorry. Oh no, you keep looking. I'm just putting this back in there. There we go. Having fun. Just watch out for the middle section, right there. Get the bindings. How I saved the world from the alligator people. All yeah, right, so Jesse's got a commanding lead here against why will he actually finish the level though, or why it kill himself and not give him the glory. Teach you, I think you're right. The reason they made this porn game is worth the reason just to try and sell the CDI. Yeah. Jesse actually has a copy of Voyeur for the CDI. I number. actually want to buy it just so I can say, like, I have a CDI, I want to play it. What is this? Spooey's got another picture for us. It's uh, loading slowly, but he all the back we of the box. Call the number. We should. Let's buy a porn line again. Uh, 1-800-X4-X-Band. We'll call it, Spooey. We'll call it after the tournament, definitely. I'm sure that'll be hysterical. Yeah, it's not oh. working. We don't know what we're doing. Yeah, he's... Voyeur was sold as a murder mystery game. You're supposed to, like, look through people's windows. Oh, Wyatt going down. Jesse winning 3-0. You know. Wyatt is not being sent to the loser's bracket. Oh shit, here we go! Yeah. <laughs> Team Rage is gonna go at it again, this time head to head, oh. me versus John Michael. Hold on. So you guys didn't see it, but off screen we had Postal Dude play Jeff Rage uh, because I read the bracket wrong. So technically they have a practice round up on everybody yeah. else, but I don't know that it really matters. It so. wouldn't have because no one else would have been able to play at that time. <laughs> so. <laughs> Daniel's already raging. He is not happy about this. I was talking with John Michael before before the brackets were even drawn up about his uh, famous Dr. Mario play at the Louisville Arcade Expo. We were chatting about it, and then we draw each other first round, so that's why I was so disappointed. You did it at the Expo? Yeah. You had to play each other? Uh, we didn't play each other in the Expo. That's but what I meant. Okay. I, you I mean here. Yeah, I sat behind and watched him. I got you. Did he win? Uh, he... It wasn't technically an official tournament. Yeah. It was just kind of like this, like, round robin. They just got a bunch of people to play, but... Oh, uh, okay. Uh, he didn't technically win, but he did amazing. Hmm. How can you not technically win? You either win or you don't. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it, it wasn't an official tournament. It's yeah, like saying, but, but if you won the unofficial tournament, you still won. It, it was kind of like the uh, like the pace car racing for uh, NASCAR. It's like, okay, you won this position, but you didn't win the race. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> all right, all right. He had a right. good time trial, but he didn't <laughs> get the checkered flag. Yeah. So is it? I mean. As far as strategy for this game, aside from matching colors together, you gotta drop them blocks, man. You gotta drop them blocks. Drop them blocks. I, for whatever reason, kept thinking that as long as they were touching each other, it's fine. But it has to be actual vertical or yeah. horizontal. horizontal as long but that's, as it's, that's the horizontal is just not. It's the realistic. Not a viable. Try. Yeah. So my strategy Until became get to the end. As soon as the block appeared, rotate and drop left, and yeah. then the next one, rotate, drop right, rotate, drop left, and I'm just like. Get him out of here. <laughs> oh, Serious rage Dan for Dan. Yeah, Daniel, is, he's not happy right now. I he guess he thought he was better at this game than he is. Maybe. I did hear him say that he was he had practiced, but he his quote was that he practiced wrong. Yeah, you can't practice wrong. You either got it or you don't in this right. game. 
There's no, there's no practice. We talk I mean, about I guess practice. you play it over and over it, and you... Situationally, you could kind of... Your, your brain can either process the colors that fast, or they can. I don't know that you can practice too much at this. See, that's funny, because I thought about bringing up the colorblind defense. Yeah, my so, son's colorblind, though, and he's really good at this game. <laughs> so... It, the colors are apparently not that bad. <laughs> not bad enough to, to use that one. Maybe just the background. A weird checkerboard. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't need to look at that. Yeah. I think it's me and John Michael next. I'm oh. Sure. Match of the century. Who, do, who, who are you going to take? Obviously, you're going to take you, but... Who am I going to take? <laughs> I don't know. He's good. We're both good at this game. <laughs> That's what I meant. The most politically avoided question of all time. Yeah, I don't smack talk because it's it, it's, it's going it's going to be a good game. It doesn't help me. It doesn't does it help or benefit? Nah. Benefit or benefit or it help? I don't, get, I don't get hyped up from telling other people I'm going to destroy them. Tiggy Shrek in the chat says hi, Jesse, with exclamation hey, point. Hey, Tiggy. Hi. It's Tiggy S R K. Tiggy. Oh, sorry. Get it right. <laughs> I'm just still. I'm just still. So downtrodden by losing so drastically to John Michael that I can't. I can't even read straight. I can barely function. <laughs> Somehow Dan still holds Dan on. Dan is still alive. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. John Michael moves on to the next round, and I have Daniel's going to be joining me here for a post-game recap. That was bullshit. What? <laughs> And we're about to see level 15! Jesse, and for, this, for the winner's bracket here, Jesse versus John Michael. Fifth level speed 15. Here we go. Oh, my God. So we had uh, one of the loser, the loser's round bracket. I ended up playing Jeff, and we played level 7, and the first eight pills that I got were double red. <laughs> it was a close game, but he still, he still got me. Oh, technically out of it right now. Uh, on the loser side, uh, the one that's not being streamed, we have Wyatt and Jeff playing. They've been playing for about 15 minutes. So they're pretty even-headed. As we see now, Arcade Legacy Jesse, who is on the left-hand side, player one position. Seems like he's off to a rough start, and he's... Oh, yeah, he's, yeah. he's done. Nope, nope, he can get out of it. Oh, wow, got a double there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the official more than not is shit. Shit! When you hit the wrong, Jeff you rage. slip that pill the wrong way, you're like, ah! Jeff Rage is shit! Oh, man. Man. <laughs> Chichi was saying quote of the month for me. That was bullshit! That was bullshit! <laughs> I had this awesome thing suddenly. Here comes John Michael's little trolley. Yeah, he's just gonna drop it down. He's obviously at a competitive level here watching that. I'm like processing the I'm getting a map, but I have an idea. And he's like, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. I'm like, hold on, hold on! <laughs> I think he almost plays it like it's Puzzle Strike. And so he's watching both sides, even though you don't need to with Dr. Mario. Like, he's even playing your side. It's like the guy that plays eight people at chess at one time. He's playing your side and his side at the same time. Oh, my God. Oh. And we get, look at the concentration on their faces. John Michael, just both of them. Look at that. John Michael. It's got the slight oh, advantage yeah. now. Jesse. John Michael's been setting these combos to just keep yeah, like, taking no. people out. It's the, that's the thing. It's like you'd be doing fine, and John Michael drops like a two or three hit combo. And, and the, the thing is, he's playing hor he's playing horizontal as well, not just vertical. yeah, yeah. He's oh playing, no! Oh no! Jesse's and Arcade Legacy up. is raging. This is quite a pickle here. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the John, I'm about I, to get him. You cover him up. And then you guys spend all this time trying to get rid of those damn things. John Michael's about to drop another combo here. Oh my God! Here we go. Three, two, one. And there's another combo, and here comes two more. Oh, on John oh. Michael's side. Oh, wow, that was, I couldn't, I didn't know that was off the screen. John Michael, oh, John Michael dropping two more. Two. Oh, okay. oh, oh, this is getting All the plays in his favor. Oh, this is close. He said, RK likes it. That's a rare occasion. Yeah, that is very rare. The game was being nice for once. Yeah. Are they? Oh, they somebody switched out the, uh, the bone. John Michael doing a triple hit combo, dropping two more. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, look at all oh, that just, just. There we go. Jesse's still doing pretty well. He's Jesse's, still hanging in Jesse's there. Jesse's claiming he's bound to get me at some point, but he is. He's getting, technically, he's getting combos. All of the combos that John Michael's he, playing. He on is. It. Meanwhile, John Michael. Oh, no! John Michael. 
Michael just oh there oh. we go. I think Shawn I think Michael I just comboing the crap out of that. <laughs> Did you not have Tetris as a kid? Did you not? <laughs> the rest of us play Tetris. <laughs> Swedish in the chat says this is the real start of the Olympics. Yes, it is. This should be the opening games Olympics. <laughs> ah! Oh, we were talking about it. Um, I, I mentioned to Jesse. It's for fun. Is when the Olympics start. This is RoboCop is coming out next week. Oh yeah. We should play RoboCop, break the order, and winter games. There you go. We need people to come in and play, compete in winter games. That'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm really happy. I, when I first seen the the pictures for the new RoboCop movie, I was sad. But the fact that they're having it come out in, in uh, February and they decided to make it black for Black February month, I feel really happy about it. At first, I didn't like the black suit. I'm like, that's ah! dumb. <laughs> Robocop is silver. He's got eight suits in the movie, but that's just their goal. He has eight suits? Just, yeah. He's just not Iron going Man. down. There it John is. Michael is the winner of the winner's bracket. That's, yeah, that's just. That's just to go to the grand finals. Right, okay. Jesse is now going to fight his way from the loser's bracket. Yeah. Okay, so one second. We're going to see who's in the loser's bracket here. <laughs> I'm so sore after the beating you gave me, <laughs> Doctor. That was a hard pill to swallow, John Michael. Beat me and Doctor Mario that hard. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I was like curious how fast he would be going and how he calculated trying to get stuff, but I just slammed too. He quick. hung. The first, the first game was pretty decisive in your favor. Second game was very, very, very close. And even though you were playing, you were getting double and triple combos on him, they kept helping him. He was actually getting, they were dropping in the right order that he was getting. But in the second game, he it looked like he hadn't cleared like a lot of viruses. So. No, no, he had built, like, he had built up his his left side a whole lot, and so. Well, that's one he, thing when you're playing like the hard difficulties, you build up the sides, and then you're screwed. Yeah. You have to make sure everything goes down. You can't just let one side fall to the wayside, because that will be your doom. As much as I hate to say it. Who hands out the trophies? Yeah, yeah where is that the trophies? Yeah, that was not plugged in. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so coming up, this is a loser's round match between Postal Dude and Daniel Berserk. And they're both, they both decided to wear matching t-shirts almost. They both got gray on. Oh, and the intensity starts! Look at their faces! Look at these guys! Well, look at... Well, they... Daniel looks concentrated. <laughs> he constipated. Constipated. <laughs> constipated. <laughs> you, you constipated, Daniel? <laughs> he's so he's so into it. Take it to the limit. Limit. Play a Dr. Mario. You gotta drop the pills and color. Get a color boat. You gotta win it. Win it. <laughs> Play a Dr. Mario. Oh, wow. Oh. Postal dude goes out very fast that round. I don't know if he's deploying my strategy of just uh, losing the first two to put the other player in a false sense of hope, <laughs> but <laughs> that obviously didn't work against John Michael, so. Well, in a puzzle fighter, one thing that people usually can't, pe people that don't really have a strategy will throw down blocks yes. so that when you get a diamond, it destroys everything and gives you a bunch of... Yeah. But I don't, ha I don't, I don't deal that. Yeah. I do that. <laughs> But yeah, oh, I, wow. I played this with my sister, and she just couldn't do it. Yeah. Much to the point where I just basically played like two levels harder so that she was... Just to let him catch up, yeah. So already the score is Daniel Berserk 2, Postal Dude none. And when Daniel Berserk won the last round, he said, let me know when you're ready. And Postal Dude said, just push the damn button. <laughs> he is so angry right now. He is going to raise about. He's about to just burst out of his shirt. He's about to hulk out. Taking all these pills. Oh wow, that's that's it. Go show sportsmanship afterwards, shaking hands. I believe there will be one more losers bracket match after this, and then grand finals featuring John Michael. Who do you think you're playing? I think it's gonna be Jesse. You think it's gonna be Jesse? Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna want to go higher than 15 though. Oh really? Well, but here's the thing. Once it gets to 20, it's not about, it's not about, it's about skill, but it's more about, you're playing what? Jaden was there, and Wyatt 8-bit. It's about having the good pattern that you can play off of. Right. Because you can get 20 and you can get bad patterns and bad pills in the beginning, 
and then you're screwed. Yeah. And then it is one of those scenarios where you have to build, screw up on one side so you build, build off, off the, the other, other and then try and yeah. tunnel under the bad side. Because isn't it, yeah, it's like the, the viruses are like three-fourths of the way up the level on level, on 20. Huh? Like the, the viruses, the, the little... But the little starting blocks are like three fourths of the way up, so yeah, there really there is no room for error at the yeah. very beginning. I've never done level twenty as turn as a tournament thing, but um, it, it can be insane, I'm sure, because the first person that gets a double honorary screwed the other person. Right, yeah. I'm assuming that's what happens. Right. At that point, you have to pray Lady Luck is in your favor. So we've got a really good start. These guys are back now up to level 10 uh, throughout the loser's bracket. Uh, for instance, like I lost the first round. So instead of going from 10 to 10, we started back at 7. So yeah. 7, 8, 9, 10. So next round after this, we'll see level 11. And we've got a pretty, pretty moderate start out here. Um, you'll see that Daniel is playing more favorably to the, uh, the left-hand side. Trying to build up his color scheme so leave the middle open. Uh, well, any well, why just miss the possible double for playing the two block there and then getting a red yellow, which was his next one? Oh uh, yeah. It's all about trying to see uh, where the next play is. Um, I'm trying to think of his name. I think it's Matt or Matt Max. Matt is very genius in where he lays his blocks because he sees the perfect block to get the double where you don't see it. Oh yeah. But my strategy is just B. So yeah. so it's it's always a battle, right? Then whether speed and technicality meet. See Wyatt getting that red stack there, pumping up his yellows. Oh Mark, 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 his name is Mark. Mark is his name? Mark That's the gentleman Mark from the, the Lou Hagen. Louisville Arcade Expo. Yes. Yeah. Those Super are the two. Those are the two people that are good. Uh, Max Stoller and uh, Mark Smith. Right. If I screwed up that name, then I am. He's gonna <laughs> hate me for the rest. Oh, that's fine. He'll, he'll come to Little Arcade Expo. It's like you're gonna play me and Dr. Mario, and I'm gonna kick your ass. In. <laughs> Start right. Cue the cue the training session. Yeah. The, the training the montage. Rocky, the the rock. The rock. My friend said he watched Rocky IV uh, training montage to get him pumped for exercising. Oh really? I was like, <laughs> Okay, Rocky Forest, something yeah. I don't... I mean, uh, Ego, what is it? Uh, Drago. Drago. Oh, yeah. Drago! I must break you. Okay, see, we're still here on round one. We've got Daniel Berserk has 19 viruses left. Wyatt 8-bit has 23, but you can look at the colors over on Wyatt's side. You just got a blue stack there. All right, Wyatt's right, by the way. Correct. Okay, just make sure. Why it looks a little more clean than uh, Daniel's side? It's a perfect opportunity to make fun of the uh, hygiene of Daniel Berserk, but I will pass up on that opportunity as he has got a red stack there. Over there, it's about to go. There it is. Well, the thing about him is he basically has like a lay pile over there, just whatever he wants to do, just put it yeah. over there. Maurizio in the chat says, I like this BGM better than the other one. Are there, there's three songs? There is, no, it's Fever, Chill, and Off. Fever, Chill, and Off. That yeah, Off, I, I wonder if you can figure out what Off is. I... Yeah, ch this is Chill. Um, I prefer Fever, but yeah. I mean, we're showing everything off. Oh man, they're smack talking so much. Why, why they bitches said, Daniel, I'm doing stuff you don't even know about. <laughs> We see Daniel now reacting. He is like in his, he is in his mind right now. And we are still in the first game. Yeah, this is getting this is pretty intense. Oh, that was an interesting double. Neon Not Rider 7 says if it wasn't for Rocky 4, the Cold War would have lasted many more years. <laughs> I think the collapse of the Soviet Union's economy kind of contributed. <laughs> they put all the economy in that That's one That's yeah, it was just that one boxer. <laughs> it's like, I must break you because I have all the monies in Russia pumped into my veins. Uh, I, I'm noticing now how um, the speed is picking up for him. Yeah. That is That will affect the game very much, so. Spoo Vision says this is the zone and they are both in it. Hey dude, look at their faces! <laughs> is Wyatt, oh, really? Wyatt looks like he's Wyatt's, Wyatt's in trouble. 
It's got a lot of red stacking up there. Well, you see in the middle, it's moving so fast that he has oh, to move the block out of the middle because he doesn't have a lot of time to react to get it out of the way. Oh, wow! Did you see that? It was like tumbling. Where? Into the zone over on Wyatt's side. He's working that bottom, the bottom right-hand corner. Well, he's also probably hoping for Daniel to die sometime yeah. soon. Nice. Daniel is getting a pretty a lot of a lot of blocks over there. He's stacking them up as best as he can. It really comes down to the the hand-eye coordination and how well you've built your stack up to get those combos. Daniel now looks like he's in panic mode. And he's almost at the top. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why's tactic of just staying alive? That's one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Why's tactic of just messing around work? Yeah. <laughs> Both players now. Are so drained that they don't want to get to you. But they have to! But, uh, glory! I'm talking about <laughs> Why are jumping ahead of the seat going, Suck it! Suck it! <laughs> These guys, uh, now they're oh. much more animated the second round. Wyatt having yeah, why having one wind under his belt. He just threw it away! He, he. Daniel reacted a lot faster yeah! than getting the double, and, that, <laughs> and the double really, really messed him up. It really feels odd commentating about this. About Just because I really don't commentate about, like, any kind of video <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> At least you were here last week trying to do commentary for, uh... Donkey Kong Jr. math. <laughs> I wanted to play that so badly. I was like, I am the accountant. Let me play this game and be Jesse. Yeah. It's, like, it's like, I have not had anything, any like real thing to come to this arcade for because I haven't had any games to, you know, be playing. So. Oh, man. It seems like all of the momentum has now moved over to Daniel Berserk's side. He is telling Wyatt 8 bit that he can suck it. And his side of the screen is obviously looking... Not as flush as Wyatt's side is. He's trying to build up stacks as best as he can, but he is all over. Look at there it is. Uh, the face of frustration. Yeah, there's he. There's too much to be working off, and Daniel has a pretty clean slate. There is not a lot of good hope on this. And oh, he gave up. Ooh. He could. He could have actually, if he wanted to, he could have actually worked a little bit with that. But he'd rather start the game fresh. They are back and forth. See a little faster start over on Daniel's side. Working the yellows and reds. Now he's got his blues. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying to get everything cleared up. Because when you're trying, when you're starting out in the beginning, you're wanting to just lower down, lower down, so you have more room to work with in case those drops come down and it builds <laughs> up. <laughs> now Daniel's complaining about how many reds he's gotten. He did. He got three doubles there. Three double reds. There's another one. Now he's got yellows and blues. Yeah, he... Wyatt has a lot of blue over there he's going to try and clear out, but... Wyatt, Wyatt just screwed up on one of the drops, and he... Well, that helps considerably. Oh, he's just... He's boxing himself in now. Yeah, he's boxing himself up. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> now, now I'll tell you something. If you're playing by yourself... It's an interesting scenario trying to, because there is no possible way of getting out there. That's another dig. The other solution is to try and do a su go to the side so yeah. you can get the. Yeah, there he goes. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, with a score of three to one. Daniel Berserk takes out Wyatt Eight Bit. I believe there is now the grand, well, not grand finals, the losers finals. Yes. Jesse of RK Legacy versus Daniel Berserk <laughs> going off at level 11 with the winner taking on John Michael in the grand finals. Daniel, do you think you have what it takes to beat Jesse? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just get your mind focused. Dude, get it. Did you? Fever minute. I was all relaxed with chills. Fever's all. They're gonna keep the music on chill because Daniel said that putting it on fever makes it too tense. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. 
the loser's final for the right to take on John Michael in the grand finals, who has yet to lose a match. So technically, whichever player wins, if they beat you in the first uh, two or three series, you have to play again. <laughs> so I'm we sure that's exactly what they want. We could see. Maybe we should even raise the stakes. If you beat John Michael, then you have to go up a level and go to 16. As we'll see. I'll put that right there. No. Yeah. Oh, you could have gotten a double. Oh. Jesse of Arcade Legacy on the left-hand side, or right-hand side, is playing really fast. Look at all the blues and reds he's got stacked up. All the possibilities. Yeah. Daniel Berserk. Daniel is just being stuffy. He's just going to try and, and match up as best he can, but it's already looking like a losing battle this first round. You can see... Oh, it. that messed him up something serious. <laughs> Daniel says, the nail in the coffin. Slowly but surely. <laughs> mash it, mash it, mash it! Oh, round one goes to Jesse. Round two, we're seeing... Uh, it's like blues and yellows are going to be the prime ones to start off with. That's another thing about when you have a bad pill. When you're layered with like yellows and uh, blues at the beginning and they give you red, oh, you yeah. have to figure out where you're going to sacrifice your area. Oh, and Daniel was already cursing as he is feeling that he's already made mistakes in this first match. <laughs> At least you have at least you have chill to calm you down. <laughs> now but players right now it's quite even. It could change any minute, but right, right now it's uh That didn't hurt you! <laughs> it's like a kid who got a shot in the arm. It's like oh, it hurt. See, it looks looks like Daniel's gonna have to play yellow and reds, and then there's a blue that comes out. Jesse's got a lot of red that he can play off of. Here comes yellow, and here comes the blues now. Oh, over there, yeah. That. Helps. Oh, that helps. Yeah, that helps. You so, want this so badly. Daniel got a boost off of that one. We'll now go for reds. Now yellows. He's getting a lot of yellows and blues. Now he's got a double blue pill to work off of. We'll get that one in the center. Uh, Jesse's Jesse's screen is way too clean. Unless Daniel get a gets a bunch of doubles in the near future, he's gonna be kissing this one. There's this yellow. There's another yellow there. Uh, now he has to really. Oh. Oh. I took the blue stack out for him. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh sideways. Oh, oh, there. Yes. Wow. Yeah. I got the cross section now. I don't know how much that will disturb Jesse because his positioning, he's got this board clean. He's not working more towards the bottom. Yeah, he doesn't have too much uh, crap to maneuver around, so. Uh, I thought that was going to be a double. Where? There's a lot of yellow there over on yeah, there's Jesse's a, there's side. Yeah, there's potential for doubles. Oh, there you go. There you go, there's one. Oh, come on! Harm. There's some here that, that'll harm Jesse too much. Daniel was on the rampage there. He was catching up, but it just seems like he's now he's kind of stagnant. He's trying to work the colors as best he can, but now he's got a blue, blue red, blue red stack. Yeah, there's some double right there. Why not another yellow on top of that one? The real trouble is if even if Daniel cleared off the right side. Look at where that one blue is. It's <laughs> surrounded by a mountain of crap. <laughs> and I do think, I mean, Daniel has a lot of opportunity to play stuff off and try and build a, a better there's, offensive. There's, there's too much stuff up there that he has to actually clear off. Just he clears out yet another. He only has five viruses left on his side. Daniel was 17. Yeah, this is gonna be the this is gonna be the nail in the coffin right here. Daniel is surviving though, yeah. but with only four viruses left and reds and yellows the primary with a double yellow coming out. Jesse is poised to clear all of his viruses with two left. This might be the first time that viruses have actually been cleared. Now the drops. There it is. 
He's just going straight down. Looking for the reds. There it is! Although, ideally, you don't want to drop straight in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> ideally. But that was a blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Three in a row that it got. And that's, that's, that's how you get your, um, um, what was I going to say? Those doubles. It's just finding those right ones and then just... <laughs> so here we go, going into match point. Jesse with two against Daniel's none. Oh, that hurt him. Daniel's face, look, he's just more and more grimacing. It's like he's literally being forced to swallow all of these pills as he will clear out some yellows. Jesse is starting to get his side more situated out. A lot of reds. Oh, that wasn't a good move. Oh. Things are moving quickly here. Uh, right now, right now, uh, Daniel's thinking his lucky star is because of Jesse's bad moves. And it's it's really, whenever you play like the harder games against good people, one mistake is all it takes to just... You have to work so hard to try and reverse everything you did. And even then, it's not enough. And there's a good double. Uh, I think... I just noticed how many blocks right there is being held up. Obviously, this is why Daniel plays guitar and is not a doctor. <laughs> See, there's a Jesse lot of... the Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little sick in the chat, giving Jesse his new nickname. As Daniel is, he's he's scraping, he's living. There goes some reds. Oh no, and that'll be rough to recover from. I'm just taking a look at I'm just taking a look at Daniel's side and just knowing that. We're just waiting for yeah, Matt Matter of time as Jesse is getting a, he's got a series of combos there. There's a yellows and some red double. That will help out, but not a, not enough as Daniel is not giving up. But it is a hard hard, hard battle from this point on. He need, he really needs a puzzle fighter diamond right now. Yeah, there you go. He's like he was like a ballet at a at a Hollywood theater, parking in all those pills. Okay, my turn. So we now have John Michael preparing to face Jesse of RK Legacy once again, but in the grand finals, jumping up to level 15. Mario, I'm yelling Mario Paint like goddamn Mario Paint. <laughs> Stupid ass games and their goddamn colors, and you push the fucking buttons, and you're like, Why won't you let me win? This is why I put out of games! This isn't anything like Color a Dinosaur. <laughs> Go to Fever, make the music Fever, so make it nice and, uh. John Michael, make Fever. Oh, and the tension, make the, pe the music Fever. There we go. Oh, completely yeah, off. You off. Completely yeah, off. off. Alright, here we go. No music. No virus. Here we go, just <laughs> no the sound of the game. Jesse versus Arcade Legacy. Oh, yeah, exactly. Just like that. Puddle of Six ain't Jesse the Stallion. Oh, wow. So, I, d I don't know if you guys seen it before, but John Michael, when he first sat down, asked Jesse if he wanted to play level 20. Rather than starting at 15, jump all the way up to level, <laughs> level 20. And look at these guys' faces. The concentration has already started. John Michael was saying while you guys were playing, all it takes is one mistake, yep. and that's why he's able to capitalize. Like there, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh my oh, god, oh, Jesse oh. clears out his center. He's now able to play more pills, and he's got a lot of blue. Clears out the first one, clears out a second one. Clears out a third blue! And a yellow, now working red. That was an, a six-piece combo! John Michael left systematically taking down the level. <laughs> Jesus. I love when you guys are like, Daniel, looks like he's constipated. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> that was a very valiant effort, though. That first match, especially against you and Jesse, was fantastic. As we'll see now, John Michael appears that he's stabilized. John Michael left Jesse on the right for the folks who don't know. So a red for John Michael, a yellow for John Michael. Jesse gets a blue. Here comes the reds. 
look at the stacks. It appears as though Jesse's strategy is to set up the combo so that it's only two colors. <laughs> and so it's easier to play off whatever comes out. It just comes down so quick your brain can't think sometimes. You're like, oh shit, where'd I go? Where'd I go? Where'd I go? <laughs> John Michael is stacking up his blues. He's got his reds. Here comes a double blue. And the score and viruses right now. John Michael 26. Jesse's at 41. Jesse at 41. He's just so damn good it's at setting up those combos. A relentless pace that is hard to match by John Michael. As we are seeing, John Michael just, I mean, he's hes set up for whatever comes out. Another combo. And as soon as those doubles come, here we go, double blue. There goes yellows. Here comes another double. There goes red. There's another, another combo, combo by John Michael. 17 viruses to 37. Jesse is holding on strong, though. And as you see now, he's set up. Here comes a run with blues and yellows. There goes a the yellow. Here comes a double blue. Takes out two rows. And those drops didn't necessarily hurt Jesse so much. He's still poised to stack up his blues. Here comes a yellow. John Michael's in a very good position. Oh, he's going to... John Michael now just systematically... Look at the speed he's playing at. I know. Oh, that yellow will slow him down for a second. A second, I stress. A second. I'm waiting for Jesse to get a, just a super big combo. Another combo. Jeez, by John Michael. <laughs> he's giggling. John Michael is giggling now. He's got the maniacal laughter going as Jesse is, oh, being slowed down by now, the red. Double yellow for Jesse. Oh, takes out Jesse. Two rows. John Michael using that. Oh, another yellow dropping. Two yellows dropping that will get in the way of John Michael for probably about 30 seconds until he pulls off this combo right there that he's setting up and now he's got to, oh my god. Oh yeah, all those reds, yeah. Oh, he, he gets topped off with another blue. Jesse's staying in it. Jesse at 24 viruses while John Michael's at 9. And he's got to clear out all that Ooh. stuff on top of it. Yeah, that blue, the blue, yellow, and blue. And he is dropping this pills drastically. He's got a double yellow straight down. Okay. John Michael taking it off horizontally. I got it there. Where? I can't, even, I can't even think of that pattern in this game. <laughs> like, 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 uh, I'm, I'm vertical, man. I'm this is level 15. Another combo with John Michael. He only has four viruses left. Three now. He's stacking up for his reds. There it is. He's going to go horizontal take the red out. Oh, no, he's going vertical. Two viruses left for John Michael. They're in a weird position, but... Ooh, he's got to get through a red, two blues, and then he can do that. So he's going to... What a frantic pace these guys are setting now. There goes the red. Well, John Michael needs a blue, a red, and a yellow, and he's got it. There's the red. Oh, John oh, Michael takes out the yellow. Oh, no, it drops the yellow on top of his blue stack. He's Jesse's go, hanging in there. He's going to go underneath and stack his reds up. He, he only needs one more. There it is. Wow. wow. John Michael took the first one in a heated match. Holy crap. That, that was, was intense. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus the Christ. The score is now one to nothing in favor of John Michael. Now, here's the thing. These guys first played each other, and John Michael knocked Jesse into the loser's bracket. If Jesse wins, John Michael is yet to lose, so they'll have to play another series. <laughs> Maybe on level 16. They may say on level 15. I don't know. I think we're going to cross that road when we get to it. I have a lot of faith in Jesse. As he's able to stabilize John Michael's onslaught. Still, <laughs> you though. can't even get started. Like John Michael's got the patterns down. Like before you even come in, he's like, "I got this. Hold on." Setting up another ridiculous combo. Never seen a face concentrate that hard. Yeah. yeah <laughs> these these folks, if you haven't seen, these are some very concentrated <laughs> faces. There, there. <laughs> Pure gamer, no comment, no music, no being distractions, no one's talking. Yeah, no Just music. Us, no music. <laughs> this is some serious shit. Screw competitive figure skating, Dr. Mario competitive, where it's at. Oh, and Jesse's got. Oh, that. Oh, oh he yes, turned it. But now, score two Here rounds to John Michael. This is not the only grand match championship. Point, tournament point. John Michael wins this round. Jesse has picked up the pace. 
very slightly, but still nowhere near where John Jeez. Michael is. I don't know how his brain can process the colors that fast. Absolute freak. Double combo by sliding it in the side. Holy crap. Jesse's poised now, though. He's got a lot of reds, a lot of blues that he can play with. He's going to clear that yellow. And now look at that. There's a double. Ooh, John Michael's going to be slowed down by that little red there. There we go. Relatively the same level now. John Michael has the opportunity, though. Oh, God, doing risky techniques. It's freaking me out. I, know, I didn't even know you could go off the screen. Neither did I. It's scaring the hell out of me. Oh, oh, oh wow. No. Oh, oh. Jesse is now. He's starting to clear up now. You can see oh, the bottom John Michael made the screen. A uh oh. Let's see if John Michael can regain. He's getting a lot of yellows. He's got a double yellow coming up. Oh no, the red drops. Another red drops. Got a double yellow. He's gonna. Another oh, right. combo. He gets doubles Jesus. and clears himself into a third one. I, I couldn't Holy even. Holy crap! Fathom <laughs> how far this. Another far combo from John Michael. So just, just when we thought he was in trouble, he finds a way to basically give this game the finger and say, "No, I'm good. I got this, bro." John Michael is, is doing a fantastic job of surviving. But if you look over on Jesse's side, Jesse's. he's got a lot of the screen open. It only has 30 viruses left. Right now, play, he played his yellows and blues for the last couple of turns. Now he's got a lot of reds out there. John Michael is another combo. Playing. Jesse's at 28 viruses. J John Michael at 31. 28 to 31, 28 right now. It's oh, it's hard to comprehend. And there it is. He finally John, got it. John Michael throwing down more goddamn combos. <laughs> Horizontal combos. <laughs> Jesse screaming, stop it, while John Michael laughs like a maniacal Look. evil. <laughs> Oh, he Another is, combo. He's going into evil Another Jesus combo. Mode. <laughs> Another combo. John Michael shit talking. All of his techniques can be found in the Nintendo <laughs> Strategies magazine on how to play Dr. Mario like an ass. <laughs> how to lose your friends in one game. How to lose your friends. These are suppositories they're playing with. Yeah, you're right. Just <laughs> and they're hot. And <laughs> they're dry like sandpaper. Feels good. Oh, man. It's, it's hard for me. John Michael, for the last two minutes, has played all of his pills to the left-hand side of the screen. Yeah. And he's still taking out the right-hand side with horizontal combos. I, My brain does not even process this game that way. Jesse still has the lead on viruses. Jesse's at like 22, 20 John Michael's 25. John Michael's now at 24, throwing down another two blocks. I think Which Jesse, actually helped Jesse there. Jesse has this one. I feel it. Jesse's at 19, John Michael's at 24. If you look at the Ooh. bottom of John Michael's screen, his bottle, there are a lot of reds down there. Yeah. And everything else that's stacked on top of it is going to be hard to get to. He's going to have to clear and work his way through the bottom. John Michael just did a triple combo. <laughs> Jesse now with 12 viruses, nearly half to John Michael's 23. Oh, and John Jesse. Michael said, dang it. That is the closest. Oh, <laughs> oh. okay. Oh, that's a, that's a bad trick. John Michael once again doing it. God, that tactic scares the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. Really ah, ah. Fill her up. John Arcane. Michael throwing down another combo. Staying alive. Oh, but Arcade Legacy Jesse's at eight viruses while John Michael's at 22. Get the feeling this is going to go all the way down to the last last little bit as Jesse's going to clear out his viruses here. John Michael is working that left corner, trying to get over to those red viruses. Red and yellows is all he's got over there. There's a good chunk there. John Michael has a lot of room to play John in the John Michael's center. setting something up here. Another combo by John Michael. He's got a lot to work with on the right. And you see it now, ladies and gentlemen. The game is speeding up. If you thought it was frantic before, these guys have been playing another so long. Another double combo by John Michael. He's setting it up. He's going to take out another row. Oh, and Jesse gets a double row, takes it out, blues and yellows. Another guy. Jesus, how the hell did he do Here that? comes Red. John Michael is going to take out the blues from below, not even going to bother with going through the stuff on top. He said, to hell with that. I'm going to do it from the bottom. Jesse only has two viruses. They're on the same side. He's got one yellow stack on top of the other one already, and he is just going to drop pills. 
Oh, Jesse's close. Looking for double red. It's not coming. One virus left. RK Legacy, he can do it. Double yellows. What a hard spot that they are at right now. John Michael's at 11 viruses. If he gets a John couple, Michael took there it is. Two. Oh, Jesse takes wow. it. Wow. Oh, my Coming goodness. back. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Everybody. Two to one. Here we go again. Everybody in the background is clapping. All the board game guys. You can see everybody sitting back there. Except for Jeff. He's looking at porn <laughs> on his phone. But it's okay. It's Nintendo-related porn. It's Dr. Mario porn. He's, he's looking up strategies. As the score now, two rounds for John Michael, one to Jesse, but he is going into this game with the momentum from that last round. As we will see, John Michael setting the frantic pace once again. He's going to get out as fast as he can, set up those combos. There's a double. There's that sound we all hate to hear. <laughs> <laughs> That's just Nintendo going, ha, ha, ha. You American bastards. Looking at the faces on John Michael and Jesse, put a little sick in the chat, says, okay, time to put in some eye drops. <laughs> Not sure that this is serious shit. <laughs> One Mississippi, two Mississippi. They're not blinking. You can't blink. Oh no! Oh, and there's a Jesse big getting grunt. hit with a horrible combination of drops. Big grunt let out from Arcade Legacy. He's just gonna kind of have a hard time now. He's working blues and yellows. He's got to drop to the center. It is. Ooh. Oh, oh no! he's dropping it on John Michael now. Oh no. Jesse's got some hard stacks now as he's got to try and play blue and yellow and he flips it the wrong way. But he's got a double yellow that'll clear that one out. John Michael, what is going on on his side? They're both having a real, this is a really, Jesse getting the combo. Uh oh. Let's see where they drop. This is tricky for both of them. They're both in a precarious situation. Jesse. I feel like John Michael is ready to drop like a four piece combo. With the things that he has set up. John, There's yep. A two piece. They've got a lot of blues in the center. There's a yellow. Here comes another yellow. Three double yellows in a row. Jesse is able to work that top right hand corner. He's just getting two two yellow stacks. There goes a blue. There goes a red four piece combo. And the important thing is that he's giving himself some breathing room as he clears out another yellow. John Michael yelling to himself. What is he doing? That's a big row over there to work for on John John Michael's Holy side. Holy crap, John Michael is taking it out now. Holy crap, I think he's going to do his horizontal technique. There goes a red stack, working the yellows. There goes a red. John Michael just moved to scratch the back of his neck. We can confirm that he is alive, and he is not operating off of some weird bizarre power. Jesse will clear out a row of blues, but both of these guys are kind of playing the same scenario, but on opposite sides. Jesse's top right-hand corner is as high as it'll go. John Michael's top left-hand corner is as high as it'll go, but he has the advantage as far as space. John Michael is at 26 viruses. Jesse's at 43. John Michael now begins to begin his ascension oh. to combos. Jesse is filling up that middle. He will get to clear out the blues. Gets a double yellow. He's gonna have a, he's hard pressed now. It's gonna yeah. be really hard as the game speeds up. Blessing him with some double yellows to clear up some room when John Michael is. He's gonna relentlessly lay on combo after combo after combo. Work in that corner. John Michael virtually, except for that side row on the left hand side, has all the room he needs to work with. Ooh, two yellows. Jesse's saying, what are you going to do with that? John Michael. That? <laughs> oh, oh John, John Michael talking, just doing combos. But oh, my God. And two yellows drop on top of the red stack that Jesse was working, trying to build John up to. John Michael get another combo and another double combo. Oh, no. That might be A it. double oh, yellow stack oh. coming. But this is about to go, ladies and gentlemen. Jesse is playing as hard as he can. And that is it! That is it, John Michael's the winner. Round. Yeah! <laughs> Jesse took, took a round! round. <laughs> it's like punching Mike Tyson. Yeah. And we're gonna give We're gonna give John Michael for winning and a copy of Earthbound sealed. That's right, a sealed copy of Earthbound. There you go. Yay. Wow, this is a heavy target, right? It's
It's two hundred fifty dollars. It's an expensive <laughs> game. It's got gold in there. It's so. got a, extra RAM. John All right, John Michael gonna is gonna do something insane. Okay. John Michael is gonna is gonna try and beat level twenty on high. All right. I think it's convenient that they convenient that best smelling version of Earthbound ever. Can wipe your ass with it. Got a little dust cover. This is soap, everybody who don't know. This is not a real copy of Earthbound. It's got the label on the back of the dust cover. Is that yeah? There's a bar of soap. But we just see it. I mean, it looks just like Earthbound. Does smell really good. John right. Michael restarting level 20, Needs turning on music. Chill. Uh, the hobbyist asks, "How many copies of Earthbound soap do you have, Daniel?" As many as I need. <laughs> I'm a large man, therefore I require many bars of soap. <laughs> some days I wipe my ass with Chrono Trigger, some days I wash my ass with Earthbound, some days it's Mario 3. <laughs> Either way, I wipe my ass whatever I please that day. <laughs> They're all vanilla scent. Actually, they do, they do sell uh, at, um, uh, no, it's, it's the same copy, Hoplinks. It's the, I just haven't given it away yet. We were going to try and trick Jesse with it, but um, at uh, cleangeeks.com is where you get it from, Digital Soaps. They, uh, I think this is an actual Super Nintendo, no, no, they made it themselves. But, um, they actually sell Super Mario Brothers 3 in Mountain Dew flavored soap. Mountain Dew flavored? Yeah. <laughs> or so scented, sorry. I was going to say. And flavored, if you want it. I'm sure it probably tastes like Mountain Dew still. Well, that whole prank was supposed to get Jesse to see Earthbound, and then Ryan was going to smash it. He's going to go, what? He's like, he goes, that's the wrong call. That's fake. It's soap. Yeah, like, he's like. I like spotted it right off the bat. Right, right. John Michael here is now, after winning the tournament, is taking on level 20. On level high. 20 on high, because that's what you have to be in order to beat this game, <laughs> or enjoy playing it. I, I don't think, I don't know, does the game have an ending? I, I think this is it. Theoretically, if you beat this level, is that it? Is there a game ending screen? Or? I think you like a... Oh, okay. John Michael doing work here. Level 20 on high. 62 viruses left. You gotta start out so fast on this level. We got that chill music going on. John Michael is putting on an exhibition. So we still got Chichio Ethan, Defen 17. Uh, we have Don't Shoot 1106, Aritzio, Neon Knight Rider 7, Puddle of 6, Blue Vision, The Hoplinks, Tiggy, and Saliva. So the top score was only 10,000. <laughs> John Mike was clearly beating that. Got a lot of blues and yellows to work with now, so see the reds are going to be kept at the bottom, and Mario keeps you going. Blues and yellows. I do. I always thought it was hilarious as a kid that the viruses like fall down. Arr! Yeah. We should actually look up who actually made this game, uh, like who like composers and producers. I don't think Miyamoto had anything to do with it. It's such a weird off-brand for Nintendo. I thought it was an uh, America-only release, North America. Is it? Did it come out anywhere else? I thought it came out everywhere. I do know that they had, um, this game was, uh, it's been on every Nintendo system yet, except for Virtual Boy. They keep re-releasing <laughs> it. Like Dr. Mario 64, Dr. Mario, which is ridiculous amount of Dr. Mario games. Is there, Dr. Mario 64 just, like, enhanced graphics, or does it actually have, like, a 3D mode? Uh, yeah, I, I believe it's just enhanced graphics. They didn't really change it. You play, uh, for the Wii, they had Dr. Mario online you could play against each other, or something like that. It's just a simple, fun little puzzle game. It's not simple or fun. No, uh, <laughs> from my point of view. As we're gonna see, John Michael here only has 11 viruses left. He's got a lot of blues and yellows left. There goes red. He is gonna take this down, folks. He is in a very good position for us to see the ending of Dr. Mario. Uh, no, I have not seen the prototype retail with the weird dog. If you have a link, please show that up. I, have, I didn't know there was a prototype with the weird dog. Just wait. 
Here we go. John Michael now just has to take out the red, and you guys will see on high, level 20, John Michael will get the best possible screen you can get in the game in Dr. Mario. And there's another red. And we need is one more red. There, there it is. There it is. Here we go, folks. And here is the best thing you can see in the game. It's this tree from Secret of Mana <laughs> with three little viruses on it. With a gun movie. to my head, I would never recognize this music because I've never heard it. <laughs> Congratulations! Sweet! Virus level 20, speed high. Face to black. Aliens! What? what? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! It was... Okay! There's aliens! Close encounters of the... This is where Silent Hill got all their ultimate They're alien viruses? I guess they never saw War of the Worlds. That's gonna... I didn't even know that existed. Holy crap. <laughs> and it turns it into day night time! It's now raining stars. It just loops. We should let that loop for a second. Yeah, like, None of us are ever going to hear or see this music again. So, this is... I didn't... I, this, John Michael beat Dr. Mario! That's another one on this end, Double Dragon. So what, what are you now, 39? 40? We gotta add it up. 38 or 30... Yeah. This is the best possible... Wow. Spoo is saying congratulations. Many people will die now thanks to your viruses. <laughs> <laughs> Good pay you co. So the guy who did Kirby made this. And the virtual boy. And and uh Game Boy. He's dead now. Oh man. The aliens are spraying Earth with a virus that'll kill off mankind. Congratulations. Maybe this is related to Mother and Earthbound, is that what Arizzi was saying? I didn't know there was an ending. Like I didn't know that this I've never seen this. Like my whole life I didn't even hear about this. I'm like, you just play the game and you die. Level 20 on high is the only screen where you get animation that isn't something flying across the screen. It actually has the abduction screen. That's pretty crazy. So it's just a little... Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, that was Dr. Mario. We should we should put your face on Dr. Mario. I think I'll, I'll do that for you next week. <laughs> I'll, I'll Photoshop you in there. So up next, next while we listen to this lovely music, is we are going to have the one, the only Postal Dude. It will be returning to finish <laughs> Dick Tracy. He ran out of time sadly last week, but he says he's, gonna, he's got it down. He beat it earlier today. So yeah. Postal Dude will be taking on Dick Tracy to beat it finally. And then we'll be playing probably some more Battle Kid. We might skip Dirty Harry uh, yeah. this week. I'll probably be gone in uh, about, uh, I'm guessing, a few minutes. Yeah, I, no. want, I want to make sure I get home before any more bad weather possibly happens. <laughs> Postal Dude in Dirty Harry looks even better. With that dude shooting Postal Dude. Dick Tracy will win every day. Look at that. Getting shot at in Dick Tracy. <laughs> yeah, Dick Tracy has the better gun. You take a Tommy gun versus a pistol any day. We might, we might be skipping Dirty Harry, we might be not. Alright, so let's uh let's go back to that beautiful Just let it go. Just let it go the entire we we got head to head, we'll go to the second game. It's this beautiful music that I'll never hear again. Like this is actually pretty good music. I didn't even know this is in the game. Cool. So alright, let's uh you get, this, you get this music after you beat a level five, level ten, level fifteen, or level twenty. Here is your prize, sir. Go wipe your ass and wash your ass with earthbound. There you go. Thank you. No problem. You should come back with vanilla scented, Rosie. John Michael wipes his ass with Earthbound. <laughs> mm, I cannot. I feel. I, it is such pretty music. It's I like, don't want. I don't want to. You know. I really don't want to wipe my butt with it. Well, you can wash your pits with it too. I mean, yeah. it's, let me get my controller out. The uh, the player one. Yeah. Yeah. Dogman is the best controller ever.
baby. I was thinking about marking it and I'm like, nah, I'm good. So while we're getting set up here for Postal Dude to come on in, here he's coming. R1, R1, oh, let's turn that Dick Tracy ridiculous down. All right. Rizio is showing us the actual, here we go. Rizio is showing us the, oh my god, what the hell is that? Hey, there's, hey, there's the. John Michael, here's the prototype. Is it a virus with a dog for Dr. Mario? Yeah, there's a dog there, some nurse, and there's yeah. Thank you, Aritzio, for posting that, and we'll definitely have to call the 1-800 X-Band number in a minute here. Probably do it after. Uh, Oh. Postal dude here, getting ready. So go ahead for, oh, for Dick Tracy. Okay. There you go, Abe. <laughs> so after this, we may play Dirty Harry. We may not. We may go instead and play some more Battle Kid, depending on how much time of the night. Even though Battle Kid is quite fun.